<clears throat> so Alexa says, Twitch helped me a lot with that social anxiety, and Old Flame responds, well, that's good. Twitch definitely uh, fills a social gap in my life. Same here. I don't have much of a social life outside of tw work in Twitch. Same. In my experience, people all around 20 to 30 can get lost in work and lose touch with their social lives. I've gone through many social groups, and it all seems to occur around 22 to 25. Yeah, but they're right there. I love your ring above voice. And it gets harder to meet new people as you get older. I've been saying, hanging out with the same two guys since high school, and I really don't have a social interaction outside work. Yeah, I mean, you only, we've known each other for 10 years, Dalton, and you only came to my house the first time like three days ago. Whoa, okay, okay. And there's a button for this. So let's go ahead and click this button. We want to enter the airship or autopilot. Let's enter the, let's enter the airship. Oh, so we legitimately can't enter the airship. Okay. Oh, we can also autopilot. Yeah, you had no idea what my house is like. I think I've, I've never done an IRL stream where I actually walked around my house. I've shown... I've shown Bunny my house. Bunny's seen my house. Zoe's seen my house. I know Alexa has seen my house. Alexa, you don't need to go to bars. You have me and all the other people who are crazy around here. You have all the people here on Twitch, all your friends. All this crazy people. We can buy the stuff. Like, I used to hang out with mates a few days a week, especially after work, but now I see them, like, once a month or maybe two months. Usually, at that point, I move on. But it seems to be consistent. Well, you take it as you can. Why did I buy eight of those? Whatever. I have the money. It's not a big deal. I have the money. It's not a big deal. And I think she's still back there. Is there any more animatic writings? No, there's not. Uh, except for the D on the, the six. I want to find the six that just kind of creeped us out. There's the six. You, uh, you probably should not have whatever. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. There's the there's the final boss right there. And there's the six I keep talking about. I know I keep seeing that six someplace. I just don't know where I keep seeing that six. I know it's in this game someplace. I love the art in this game. I find it awkward approaching people in pubs. And I don't like nightclubs too loud. I like a conversation. See... We were having this conversation the other day, Dalton and I, about how we're both nerds, and yet I'm the one that can go up and just talk to a girl. I have no problem going up and talking to a girl. Let's see if I can find a thing. Where does it say Grandship? Yep, there it is. Earth Crystal Grandship Engine Room. Yeah, I'm talking about any of that. Like, I can just go up and talk to people. No one really bothers me. None of that actually talk bothers me, like, going up and talking to people. Even though I'm the introvert who should totally have a problem with it. You like the music? Well, that's good. That's good. As we were over here talking about our problems. <laughs> Of the game, so soothing. <sighs> hey, Gordon, are you going to be there in like... Are you going to be in your country in like September, October area? I won't be able to come in November, but like I'll be, I'll be out of the country in November to start with. 
But if you're going to be, uh, I might be coming to London in like September, October. I can see how it would be harder for men to approach women, especially how it is these days. Just go up and start talking to people. Not even, no fear. No fear whatsoever. Let's get off right here. Look how big this hole is. Why is there just an area here? I want to fly backwards. I want to fly backwards. There we go. And chapter four is about to begin. It's taken this long for us to get to chapter four. Lord Marshall, we've just received word that Grandship has vanished. Vanished? You mean to say it has sunk? No. Vanished. We know little as yet, but it seems Grandship's inhabitants have evacuated on Moss. Yeah, I might be in your country with a friend, uh, did not sink. and sometime Simply at that time point. Vanished. How is such a thing? Where are you at, Original Hum? Alternus, where is the wind vessel now? After a brief stop in the kingdom of Kaldisla. She entered Grandship before it vanished. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for war. Yes, your lordship. But may I be so bold as to ask why? I asked Zoe earlier, and she's not going to be in the country in September. rings with lofty highlands. Sure. Even one such as the Wind Vestal could not. It is my hope I make much of not. Yet we cannot leave. Much I have no idea. Or chance, for we now have but one crystal under our. I guess she's not going to be in the country. Well, she'll be in the country. She'll be all over it. She won't be at home. You're from Kuwait. Cool, cool. Victor, hold your tongue. No, his fear is not without merit. Unfortunately, I can't speak any Arabic, so I can't I can't be much use there. Ooh, new music. I speak English, Japanese, and Spanish. That's all I got. This is Digimon music, damn it. This is either Sonic or Digimon music. <laughs> the best music. Yeah, I know, right? I swear this song is in every single anime game ever. I bring ill tidings. Okay. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over Southmore. And it appears poised to alight there. Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of a sort. S suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be Lord Marshal? This is the Wind Vestal's doing. Do you mean to suggest Grandship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How Don't tell us your boss. Presently stand. Hmm. I have a couple friends who speak Arabic, but I can't, so I mean, take that as you will. I'm just saying I can't speak it, so. In Frost Peak Passage and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. See, I need to go finish Digimon World 3 for the PS1. 
Is the demon child ready for war? I beg you, call her not a demon child. I mean, I calls it like I sees it. If you hold your life dear. I calls it like I sees it. Demon child. Whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. The decision is hers alone. But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? I'm breaking ice in a cup right now, by the way. She seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Is she not nearly her limit? There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. Yeah, the Twitch app is real weird. Chapter 4, Black and White. Alright, let's settle down here. The crystal lies in Everlast Tower. Isn't it in some manner? Yeah, this is totally like anime Digimon music. There are no crystal temples in the Duchy of Eternia. Fifteen years have passed since they stamped out the crystal orthodoxy in this land and remade the Temple of Earth into Everlast Tower. Why would they? Before we can get to the tower. Why would they just? Why would they keep the crystal around? If they were trying to get rid of the crystals. It will be a fierce fight. So I suggest we prepare before setting out. Original hum, just so you know, we do try to stream every night, so... So we try to. Sometimes we fail, sometimes we don't make it. But we try to. Understood. You can count on us. And I guess I'm gonna have to start streaming earlier in the day. Thanks, Alexa. I've had to miss uh, about a week's worth of time in the past little while, so. Okay, where do we go from here? Well, I play a little bit of everything. But I've seen the little red dot, oh thanks. The VODs do exist, and then I do post them on YouTube afterwards. I play I play a little bit of everything, so... If you're up for some... I play some really weird games, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone here can pretty much tell you I play some weird games. And we do chat with people, as you can tell. I have a feeling that this thing is probably weak to fire. I don't know why. Like Titty Crush. Yeah, Titty Crush. I probably legitimately could play that game on stream if I just, uh, if I don't go into the gallery. Sinron Kaga Reflections. I mean, we can play that later if you want. Alexa, I will, if you want me to, I will play Sinron Kaga uh, Reflections just for you. Just for you, Alexa. That's how much you mean to me. I'll play that game just for you. No, uh, Sinran Kagura, uh, Bon Appetit is the cooking game. See, if you gift me a game on Steam and I can play it on stream, I it gets jumped up to the top of my list. I stop whatever game I'm currently playing, and I play it on that, and I play it immediately. So if you buy me a game on Steam, and it's streamable, I will immediately start, I will download the game, and the next stream that I do will be that game. That is my policy. As long as it is streamable, if it is one of the banned games or something that will get me in trouble, I ain't playing it, but thanks for the game. Um, if it is something I could play, oh, we're definitely playing it. And I do a bunch of research on games before I play them, so it generally is something like that. But yeah, 
Looks up Bad Rats on Steam. I probably own Bad Rats. The problem with buying me games on Steam is I own almost 2,800 games. It is next to impossible to... It's almost impossible to buy me a game that like I was either interested in or like actually cared about that I haven't already put on my list. I do need to play Dream Daddy. You're not wrong. But I need... Could I play that by myself, or do I is do I need to actually voice that? Uh, Honey Pop is a band game. I yeah, I will stream Bannerlord. Honey Pop I cannot play because it is it is on the ban list. I know it's on the ban list too. Same with Honey Cam Studios. Same with Yandere uh, Yandere Simulator. It's on the ban list. If you say house party, also on the ban list. It's the standard moans and groans of VN, so probably. Oh yeah, I'll be great then. That'll be fun. I'll actually get to do voice acting again. That'll be fun. Alexa just wants to hear me do moans and groans. That's what she's telling me over here. and three others have been sighted leaving that enormous vessel. They've already fought their way through Frost Peak Passage and are now approaching the city. Have we received word from the forces deployed in the various lands? I'm afraid there has been no reply from any quarter. Then there is no hope of reinforcements. Shut the valve for the white magic cables. Surely you don't mean that, Lord Marshal. We're actually getting closer to finishing this game. Well we're pretty close. Technically right now we're 50% of the way done, but once we get done with this chapter, we're more like 75% done. To do. Should the tower be destroyed, the linked cables place the Earth crystal in jeopardy. <laughs> Order all defensive units to intercept the wind vessel at the three passages from the city. Once we get done with this chapter, we're like 75% done. Even though it's actually, there's eight chapters in this in this game. Chapters five through seven aren't as important. Do, 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 do. Eternia, land of immortality. So, Idea. This is the land of your birth. Ring a bell, could you not ask a question like that? Monster Prom is not. Oh my god, Ring a bell. See what I mean? He's got her. Actually, I'd rather not. This city is unlike any I have seen before. It is a curious town indeed. Yet I hadn't noticed till I'd been away for some time. Idea. What are those stretching toward the city from up on that cliff over there? As long as you don't download the, the R18 patch, you're fine. Within them flow energy waves that amplify the effect of white magic. The cables stretch between healing towers throughout the city, allowing patients to receive the latest treatments. That is why few in this land... No one knows why Yandere Simulator's ban. The people live in good health everlasting. Appearances would indicate otherwise. Waves that amplify the effect of white magic. Is such a thing truly produced here in this land? Well, the more precise term would be extracted rather than produced. Before I left Eternia, I was thankful for their beneficence. I harbored not a doubt in my mind. But now... Uh... Idea? From where does this cable... Idea? I thought that might be you. Oh no. Hmm? It's been ages. We were classmates at the Officers Academy. Yeah, no one knows why Yandere Simulator's banned. Oh. Um. I was worried when I heard you've been assigned to the Sky Knights. What a relief to see you. So you don't know, soon. do you? Oh, and I heard about your mother too. My mother? Has something happened to her? 
No, you do not have to censor the audio scenes. So you can play visual novels on stream. Um, you... One sec. You really have no idea, do you? Well, you better go pay your visit. Then. So you can play any game on uh, on stream outside of the banned games or stuff that is rated AO. You can have sex scenes in the game, but they cannot be the central focus of the game. That is the rule. So you can have all the naughty bits you want. So Witcher shows tits and basic sex scenes and that sort of stuff. You can show that stuff. You cannot have it be the main focus of the stream. On YouTube, you have to uh, censor that stuff, so. But yeah, that's how that works. But Yandere Simulator, uh, I believe the reason that we got was like, so once I get a capture card, I'm streaming that and Fallout 4. Why would you need a capture card to stream anything? Are you streaming? Uh, Blood doesn't necessarily have to be streamer. Are you streaming from consoles? I mean, if you're streaming, oh, PS4, okay. Uh, PS4 can stream by itself. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to censor uh, blood anymore. Well, you never needed to censor blood. That wasn't ever a thing that you needed to censor on YouTube. And especially not Twitch. Blood doesn't need to be censored on Twitch. Yeah, with, with... Yeah, I hate the layout of PS4 streams. I'm just saying it can stream by itself already. Um, I would hold off and make sure to get OBS set up before you start messing with capture cards. So get OBS... Uh, before you start with actual, like, capture card craziness, actually get your stream set up where you want it, and then start messing with that stuff. That's pretty much my advice on that. And Breath of the Wild, of course. Of course. If you hold down the capture button, uh, it will capture the 30 seconds of video, by the way. In case you didn't know that little bitty uh, tip there. Why are you getting an Ice Flame Shield? I don't want this. I want a wizard's rod. I don't care that it, like... Yeah, I know it raises your physical defense, your magic defense not that much, though. I'd rather have the attack. Okay, uh, nothing crazy in there. How much does this cost? 70 P's a night. Ooh. You became friends with Amigo Bot. We finally got Amigo Bot. I could see you doing Breath of the Wild. I need to, I need to play Breath of the Wild again. We have Amigo Bot. We have Buddy Bot, Friend Bot, but, uh, Pal Bot, and Amigo Bot. <laughs> Sucks buying games that makes my people- You're not buying the game! I <sighs> Alexa, you share my Steam library. It's kind of weird. Because <laughs> I'm not playing on Steam right now, so... 
Cough. Cooking simulator. I should buy a cooking simulator. I think even my computer cries at cooking simulator. See, I think you could play Octopath on your computer pretty well, so. Ooh, it started slowing down there. There was a there was a massive uh, kind of thing happening there. Man, not the biggest fan of turn-based RPGs. It's not a turn-based RPG; it's a JRPG. There's a big difference, besides Pokemon. She's right this way. Octopath isn't that good of a game. It's a Dia's mother. Mother. Okasan. Why a Dia? When did you return? You know. Never mind that. Okasan. Okasan. Of course I am. You mustn't trust everything you hear. And I've been feeling quite a bit better since I came here. Yes, but... Well, aren't you going to introduce me? Oh, um... About that. You see... I, uh... I am Adia's mother. Mazer Lee. Thank you for looking after my daughter. So, Mazer Lee. You are the wind vessel? Damn! How could you possibly know that? Damn, woman. I am the Grand Marshal's wife, after all. I hear much to which others are not privy. And I am particularly well informed about the Wind Vestal's traveling companions. Sir Alternus provides me with the latest news. Ugh, Alternus. I wish he'd mind his own business. Yeah, Alternus. But he knows. Oh no, we'd better get out of here. Oh, relax. I won't report you. After all, it's not that often that I get to see my darling daughter. Especially with her boyfriend. Mother. My, you look almost grown up now, Adia. And to think you were such a spoiled little thing when you left. Especially with her Mother, boyfriend. You're embarrassing me. Especially around her boyfriend. Don't listen to her, Millie. We'd love an in-depth look. Okay, shut up, ring a bell. You made it awkward. <laughs> what a wonderful friend you've made. Quote unquote friend. To be in your daughter's company. The pleasure has been all mine. You stay out of this, ring a bell. How wonderful ring -a to see you so full of vim and ring a bell. You're making this awkward. I'm. I'm sorry if I worried you, mother. You're making this awkward with her mother. So. Then there is one thing you could tell me. Oh man, I hope everyone's here for the end of this chapter. So, you must have a good reason, I'm sure. The world, it is being consumed in darkness. Well, not so much anymore. Many have already suffered greatly as the shadow envelops the world. Tis here counts among them, and the suffering and sorrow will only multiply. If we fail to stop it, I have a piece of ice and I want to eat it. Risking life and limb in her quest to rid the world of this darkness. Yet my former comrades in the Knights of the Eternian Sky sought to capture and even kill her. Which we then and killed them. Not only the Sky Knights, the military forces, agencies, and consuls Eternia has dispatched throughout the lands, they all. they've done nothing but cause pain and suffering and taken many upon many lives. I used to believe anti-crystallism was the true way, but I know now that is not so. Oh, it still is. Don't After worry. Traveling the world, there is so much I've seen for the first time. You're not wrong. I've taken in all it I've still is the correct way, way, just in a weird, awkward, and roundabout way. In my heart, I've come to know what is black and what is white. That is why I am here now with my dear comrades and friends. So you have come to do battle with your own father and the Eternian forces? Yeah, about that. No, you don't understand. We haven't come seeking battle. We've come to awaken the Earth Crystal. Awaken it? Yes. But then I received word that you were ill and receiving treatment. 
Now I don't know if I should. There's no need for that. No need? Mother, what do you mean? There's no need to worry about me. It's time for your examination. Forgive me, but this is where we must say goodbye. Please, do look after my daughter. Yeah, Ringabel, look after her. Mother. You know she was saying it directly at Ringabel. Idea, the white magic cables extend to that medical tower as well. I wonder to where they all lead. To the Earth Crystal. What's this? Eternia has advanced its medical arts by extracting the crystal's energy. My mother once suffered from a debilitating disease. That she could speak with such vigor today is due to the Earth Crystal. But how could such a thing be possible? Even Vestals are incapable of extracting power directly from the crystals. It seems Eternian scholars long studied how to extract such power and finally succeeded. But I know no more than that. Wait. What would become of this central medical tower if we were to awaken the Earth Crystal? What of your mother, Adia? And the many others receiving treatment there? If the power provided by that cable were to suddenly cease, the people that depend on it to survive, they might all... My mother has always been Mama or Mommy. Mommy when I was young, Mama and how. But I'm also in the South, so that's how it's supposed to be. There are people whose lives. Or Mom when I'm talking to people in general. Like my mom's doing this. Oh, Mama. Aerie, shut up. This is not the time for you, Aerie. Peace and tranquility that Eternia enjoys is built upon the tears of others the world over. And I shall not stand for it. That's why I'm here with you. And that's why you must awaken the Earth Crystal, Agnes. So. Agnes! I have a story there. All right, then. As soon as this is I'm over. I'm glad you understand. Now, to reach Everlast Tower, we must make our way through Eternian Central Command. Oh, boy. There are three passages leading there from here in the city. We must pass through one of them. But be warned. My father has no doubt deployed an ironclad defense. Three passages to Central Command. Let me brief you on the three passages that link the Central Command. Uh, right. We're listening. Just go on. Three paths connect Central Command to Eternia proper, proper, each of them different. The Central Passage is the shortest, but the enemies will find there are all nightmares. The Western Passage is longer, and the enemy is tough, but not as tough as on the Central Path. None of the guards along the East Path are very strong, but the distance is extremely long. There is no easy option here, but the op choice is ours. What do we do? Yeah, what do we do? Do we want to take the Middle Path? Do we want to take the Left Path? We're going to the Left Path. We're gonna go, we're gonna go central. I say mum. Yeah, I say mum too. 